Now it's time to get some get back. Get it. Oh. He leaned in and kissed me. I tagged the girl and I was like, this your nigga question mark? What I do? Grab one of his homeboys. All I feel is somebody roll me up by my uniform shirt. <laughs> I might have to stop the video. I really always do get in a good mood when it's time to record. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kaikalan. For all you guys who don't know if y'all who do that means y'all been what? <laughs> we are on the road to 15k. Yeah, I love y'all so much. Keep sending me to everybody you know, breathing. Y'all have literally been blowing at my door by my last story time. The story time how my friend tried to force me to get humpy in the back of the bus. And then I did. He's my little shit trying to make me get humpy. And then I did this stuff and he cheated on me. And I caught his ass on live. Did I catch him or did he put it bluntly in my face? Did he rub it? He rubbed it. Did it burn? It did. I got that nigga back. Mind you, I was not going to tell it because I'm still suffering from PTSD. If you haven't watched that story time so far, go ahead and watch it. It was a good one. But we're here to laugh at all the shit I've done wrong. You know me, if I'm doing a story, I'm doing my makeup. It just go hand to hand. I'm nothing too crazy. No, I'm just going to be doing a light beat. So, and niggas at the gas station can ask me why I don't got no boyfriend. <laughs> okay, so where do we leave off? I see him on the with the She told me to go put her shirt on. And then I cussed him clean the fuck out. I was sitting in my room, mouth dropped. Or I couldn't even pick that bitch back up if I wanted to. And then I blocked him. I don't need you to even feed me no stories because I might just turn around and eat that shit. If he said, hey, I'm sorry, give me a kiss. I'm giving him a kiss. Went to sleep, listen to Janita Aiko. I was really in my feelings. Like I had it right next to my ear, laying on the bed. Oh, our memories, all you meant to me. I'm fighting back tears in the bed. My mama knocking on the door. She asked me to turn the music down. Ma, I'm going through a crisis. The next day at school, well, I see my friends in the morning. They're like, damn, you talk to him when he say. And I basically explained to them. I just kind of blocked him. Because mind you, they still cool with they niggas. So it's like, bitch, don't even talk to me. I don't even want to look at y'all for too long. I'm walking down the hallway after fourth period. After I just got done seeing my friends, Lena and Mariah. I'm going downstairs. Mind you, remember when I said all the 10th graders stay on the first floor? That's their hall. And he's a 10th grader. As I'm walking down the hallway, I see Drew. He see me. So what I do? Grab one of his homeboys. This is the hallway. Drew is coming this way. I'm coming this way. I see one of Drew's friends, another 10th grade boy. I take Drew's friends by his arm and turn us back around. So now all of us are walking this way. He like, oh, hey, Kaya. Hey, guy, what you got going on? You straight? I see what happened on live. Hey, you seen? Oh, what part? But I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Like, what you got going on for today? We just chopping it up. Mind you, the conversation was low-key dead, but it wasn't the point. It wasn't me trying to prove my point. The conversation. But that day passed. That was the first day of us just being ice cold to each other. <laughs> Next day coming to school, I, I woke up on the right side of the bed because y'all felt bold and I felt like it was time for me to shine. When we get into school, we hear on the announcements. Oh, uh, ninth graders and 10th graders, y'all will be staying on the first floor. Our ninth graders and 10th graders, y'all will be staying on the first floor. Floor. The 11th graders and 12th graders is going to be testing. The school decided to mix up the 10th graders and the 9th graders. We were all in school, but we weren't doing no work, playing games, watching movies, all this. I got put in a room with one of Drew's homeboys, the one that was with Mariah. We're going to call him Chuck. I'm talking to Chuck. We in the class. Everybody kind of talking. And I'm like, you weird as hell. You already knew what was going on. You could have let me know because me and Chuck was low-key cool. Never think somebody homeboy is your friend. He like, yeah, my bad. You know, bros before hoes. He's turning back on me. He like, well, why you ain't saying nothing to old girl? You know you've been locked in with him for a minute. Okay, so Ed and Kaya here. When I said old oh, girl, I meant the girl that I caught on live with my little shit. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. How much you gonna bet? He said, if you pop your shit, I'll give you this $10 that's in my hand. Hold on. Give me three minutes. Editing Kaya back again. I was so messy. I was so young and I was so dumb. I'm not too much in the comments on me. I understand. I do not condone this. Don't eat me up. This is a safe place. Don't be like me. Be better than me. Just vibe. Character development. So I get to going on my spam and I got this video of me and Drew when he was over at my crib. And it's just like, I think I was on top of him when I was planning his hair, all of this. And I posted on my spam. I tagged the girl and I was like, this your nigga question mark? So then she responds, so mind you, all this is happening at school. The views is going up. The views is going up. People commenting on it. She was like, bitch, that is my nigga. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. So we really just arguing back and forth. I'm like, if this your nigga, come get him. We just being messy and ghetto as hell. Like, Ugh. she like, oh, girl, well, we gonna fight. It ain't nothing. We gonna fight. We gonna fight. So I'm like, all right, cool. Set it up. So while all this is going on, I'm not hearing shit. 
from oh boy Drew. He's not saying nothing. Like people's tagging him, laughing in the comments, all of this. That nigga is nowhere to be found. He playing peekaboo with me. I said, it's okay. He, he over here with me. Mind you, we didn't talk all day yesterday. I'm talking about he over here with me. Just being messy. I'm like, yeah, he over here with me. Don't even worry about it. I don't know why you tagging him. Stop tagging him. Trolling. I'm just trolling. After the class and mind you, it was a half a day. My friends meet me upstairs. They rush me. They like, it's no way you doing all this. They like, oh, so you gonna go say something to him? Because he was being mighty quiet in them comments. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go to him right now. Lena and Mariah is behind me and we walking downstairs. Chuck with us too. Cause he laughing. I get to Drew. I'm like, what's this about? She said, y'all been talking. She said that that's not me. That, that never been me. And that y'all been on each other since before high school. He like, nah, she's lying. She's tripping. Like, you really gonna believe her? You really gonna believe her over me? Like, I know we ain't talked all day yesterday, but I been want to talk to her. I been want to explain myself. I been wanting to reconnect. Reconnect some money in my hand. Fuck an apology, nigga. I need a reimbursement. He just feeding it to me. And I'm what? Eating it. He like, nah, I don't even trip. Don't even trip. Thing. I'm gonna get on my spam and I'm gonna explain everything. This back in the day where everybody and their mama had a spam. I'm like, all right, cool. Just handle that. I got you. I get on the bus. I go home. I call my friends. Y'all get in a group FaceTime call and I tell them exactly what he said to me. But I was eventually draining this. One thing about me, I'm going to take me a little after school nap. So I decided to tuck my phone away and take me a nap because this was already too much. Like, it is always something when I wake up. I used to be in pen mode every time it was time to wake up from one of my after school naps because it was always some bullshit in this time wasn't any different i wake up go on instagram i'm just scrolling it's him drew i see a video from drew spam i get to watching it he like y'all let me start just clearing shit up now because this is getting beyond me he first addressed a girl that was in her bra and panties i don't know why you arguing with her you should have just left it as is um you know i'm gonna handle it regardless all this all that then he gets to me he kaya you're mad delusional we was never really together As soon as I hear that, I swipe out. Cause I didn't even have the heart or the stomach to watch the rest of that video. All, all I was gonna do was hurt my feelings. I'd rather be delusional than my feelings be hurt. My friends watched the video, they call me back. Girl, you seen that? He's bugging. They was like, did you watch the whole video? I'm like, nah, they trying to explain to me the video. I'm like, stop right there. After that, I completely leave it alone. Cause it's just like, I only got time for no more drama. My stomach is already at my ass and it stayed there. So I wake up for school the next day. I'm like, you know what? This is gonna be a fresh start. I put on my nice fitted khakis. They cuff my body. I look extra. Thick, my button up tee with my sweater over it looking real cute, real professional. But that shit was already embarrassing, so I gotta look like I'm untouched, unbothered, unfazed, okay? Months and months is passing. It's just us seeing each other and acting like we don't see each other. Your tongue was never down my throat. The fall sports stopped. He stopped playing football. The big group of us, we just all stopped getting on the bus together because it was weird. My friend stopped staying after. His friend stopped staying after. And we came to school for the bus ride home and there was no more bus ride home. My homegirls, they still talking to his homeboys. When they're around each other, sometimes we'd be around each other. Who was acting so petty. Like If I had to say something to him, I'd be like, you could tell him to get off my back. He'd be like, you could tell her I'm not on her back. So one day after the months of us not talking and I was like F it, I'm about to stay after with some other friends that I talked to. It wasn't my main friends, but they was the friends that you talk to in your other classes when you're not with your main friends to keep the day kind of going, keep the day smooth and entertaining. It was like, you want to stay after with us? I'm like, I don't even know if I'm ready. Like, and the day they come, I chill with my other friends and then it's time to get on the bus. Mind you, in the last story time, I didn't explain to y'all that there was two buses. There's bus A and there's bus B. I always got on bus A with my whole big group because that's just the bus where we originally got on. Once it starts, has started and and Drew decided to play basketball. He was staying after school now and I knew that in the back of my head. That's why I didn't know for sure if I wanted to stay. It's time to get on the bus. And I remember Drew coming out one door and me coming out one door with the friends that I stayed after. He looked at me, he was like, and I looked at him like, the fuck you think this your shit, nigga? He probably just wanted to talk things out and make things right. So I watched him go on to bus A. He turned back and turned his head back to me. He like, like trying to nod me on to bus A. I look at him, I roll my eyes. I had the bus B. How the buses were set up, they was right by each other. The windows was clear. He look at me, he shake his head, he go back into his phone. Take that L, nigga, I have to take too many. Bus B is a whole different vibe from bus A. It was fun to bus B. My friends who I stayed after with, they like, all right, head back here. We all head to the back of the bus. I see a couple of people I used to know from middle school. I'm like, damn, this the rest of the world. I didn't even peep all the people I was missing out on because I was up a nigga ass. Where my look lost? I sit down, talking to some of my friends. It's this one boy, we gonna call him C. Now C looks so good. C was my second draft pick. He was dark skinned. He had waves. He carried one of them brushes. That's so when he could do this all day. Ugh. And he had a big old smile. He was there too. Now I recognized him from school because he used to always flirt with me. No matter who I was talking to, they always gave like, whenever you get done with them little niggas, 
come mess with a real man. I get back there, I see him, he see me. He look at me like, I, I'm like, what's wrong? It's something in your eye? He was like, nah, you don't never be on BuzzFeed. I'm just trying to figure some shit out. It's figured out. Almost. So one of my homeboys, he look at me, he like, oh, what? you like him, you, you fuck with him. I'm like, nah, it's not even like that. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just getting to know each other. I just keep catching him like looking at me, but I'm not thinking too much of it because he's just a natural born flirt. Even in school, he always in somebody's face. He always got a girl smiling, giggling, laughing. Like, but I'm smiling ear to ear talking about him now. So who am I? <laughs> he's not as laid back as Drew. If I look at him and he see me looking at him and I see him looking at me, he like, what you looking at? He always gonna say something. And he want me to say you. Nigga, you, us, together in our future. Days going on, my friends, Lena and Mariah from Fort Perry, they going on a bus right when 2.40 come, when we get out of school. I'm starting to stay after with my, with my little after school friends because we have a good time over at Bus B. As I'm staying after with them, Drew is still staying after for his basketball. So one day come around and I'm in my Fort Perry with Mariah and Lena. We just shopping up. They like, oh, we be seeing you staying after school more. You be on your story posting all this. You know, they just kind of giving me the first hand to interrogation about why I never invite them to come. And Kika, I was like, y'all can come today if you want to. They like, no, we got a better idea. Huh? Yeah, we got something else we've been wanting to do so bad. I just want you to say yes, you cannot say no. The boys want to stay after, and they want you to stay after too. They like Drew homeboys. They want to chop it up with Drew after basketball practice. We, we've been missing you. We want the whole game together. And the same game that embarrassed me on national television. That game. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. They like, please, just, please, just one, just do this one thing. It's no bad bud. Y'all haven't talked in months. It's nothing. I'm like, all right, cool. Fine, I'll stay after. Mariah, me, and Lena all meet up. And then we see Chuck and Lena do. I'm low-key third willing. Chuck and oh boy, Lena do start saying, oh, you gonna talk to him when you get on the bus? You gonna talk to him? What you gonna say? I'm like, nah, I'm straight. They like, damn, don't be lame. I'm lame. So it's time for us to all get on the bus. We all see Drew. He looking at me. He smirk. Who this for? Me? He already got me. I don't even know he got me just yet. We walk up to him. They all talk to each other amongst each other. I'm just being quiet. And they like, talk to, talk to him. And I'm like, you talk to him. And they like, you so hard headed. And he like, mm hmm. Okay, you don't even got the room to breathe near me. So we proceed to go to the bus. Chuck was like, y'all know the drill. People start moving up. The fact that we have not been on this bus for months and they still moved is beyond me. We all sit down, me and Drew sit down in opposite seats right across from each other. Mind you, the whole time I'm sitting there, all I hear is them kissing. It's just bringing back memories. He look at me, he kind of like giggle a little bit, like, and then like look back and so I just put on my headphones, 10 minutes in, to me listening to music, I see from the corner of my eye, him like waving me down. So I look up, he like, I take my headphones out, cause what you want, daddy? He like, your music's too loud. I'm like, what you want me to do about it? Turn it down. So who you talking to? That's the car y'all missed. This one? So I laugh, I giggle, and right when I giggle, he knew I was through. As soon as I hit the... <laughs> I'm sitting down, I'm jumping my headphone back in, listening to music. So then he waved me down again. He like, you might as well just take it out, because you know you want to talk. Like, who do I want to talk? We know you want to talk. He just wrote me into a conversation. I didn't even know I was having it until it was 10 minutes into the conversation. So he took it upon himself to, like, put his book back in his seat and, like, plop over next to me. So now we really talking. He too close. He's giving me chills. And he look at me, he like, so how you been? I'm like, you know, I'm straight, surviving. He like, yeah, I feel you. I miss you. Not even not even like that, you know, just your friendship. And that's where he got me. When a nigga downplay a relationship, that's the smartest shit he can do. He said, I don't miss the relationship, but I miss your friendship. Niggas know girls hold friendships at a pedestal the smartest niggas are fine with starting off with friends because they know what that leads to we start getting back on the phone start having deep conversations so i'm like nah yeah i feel you shouldn't have fucked it up you like i could unfuck it up i don't know it's gonna take work so now we just chopping we chopping up but while i look up from our conversation and i see off word they like mm -hmm. we did it child we did it and we all just start laughing like he looked at me he like they did it i ain't have two feet to stand on get it oh, I get home from that bus ride, I'm skipping home. I get back home, take off my uniform, get in the shower, singing. I get a DM on Instagram, he was like, unblock me. what I do? Unblock them. Effective immediately. No questions asked. We chopping up for that first night. Next night, he sending voice messages. We playing eight ball. We just picking up right where we left off. Mind you, my friends and his homeboys, I really don't believe that they knew. Because we just kind of keep it into ourselves. Like, I already got played once. If I get played again, bitch, I played myself. Well, I'm like, don't tell nobody we talk. One day, after a week of us talking, in my fourth period, I'm texting him. We busting it up. I'm laughing. I'm giggling. My friends ain't seen me smile this much in years. They like, who you texting, huh? They like, I don't know, it's pretty convenient how you ain't stopped smiling since we put y'all together on that bus. Pretty
pretty big coincidence. Huh? They just kind of clocking it. I didn't really care too much because they were my homegirl, so I just put them on game. I'm like, yeah, we just been talk talking, and it's nothing too serious. We cool again. They like, how cool? Real cool. So me and him get to stay after again by ourselves. People from Busby ask me where I been. I'm just dumb and delusional. I was acting like nothing ever happened. One day after two weeks of us being straight, two weeks of us being good, you would have thought we was a married couple. Some people started to kind of peep game that we was still talking. I asked my friend Lena, I was like, hey, girl, he got a basketball game. You want to stay after for his basketball game? And she was like, yeah, we can. That's fine. That's nothing. We'll just go home, put a cute outfit on after school, and you can come to my crib and my mom would drive us up there. So I'm like, all right, cool. I tell him I'm going to stay at his game. I'm smiling ear to ear. He wasn't as excited as I would expect him to be. I need you to be doing somersaults. Did they go on? I go home. I had my little swing. I had this blue little zip up with a white shirt under. I think it has some pink leggings on and then some blue Uggs. We ended up heading up our way to the basketball game. I don't know which video I'm put, but it's us at the game. I see him. He see me. He like waving me. I feel like I got two kids at home. I'm an NBA wife and I'm just sitting in the crowd with my legs crossed. As he playing the game, I keep peeping this girl. Scream his number. Go five, go five. Mind you, the girl's a cheerleader, so she on the floor with the basketball players. That bitch had a deep ass voice. And every time he go on the bench, she bump into him. I'm just watching. I'm taking my camera, I'm zooming in because I really need to see where her hand placement on. And she like, oh, it's a little sweat right there, which I'm reading her lips from six feet away. It's two more quarters of the game. And the whole time, I'm just kind of watching like them flirt a little bit not too much to the point where it was very obvious but to the point where i'm ready to go after the game and he come up to see me but the whole time we chopped it up it's like kind of a dry i could tell when he want to talk he don't want to talk and it was giving he didn't want to talk he talking to me i'm like mm -hmm. i'm already annoyed because i'm seeing this bitch moan your number i can't even part my lips to say hey good job my friend lena she peeped that he was being weird so i'm just like it is what it is we go home she her mom dropped me off home i'm just contemplating the whole ride home her mom's like oh she don't speak when i got back home he just wasn't saying nothing to me. He didn't text me to say you got home straight nothing, which was unusual. After like an hour of me being home, I'm scrolling on Instagram. His bubble pop up. The little thing to show somebody posted on my story. I couldn't risk me going on his story three seconds in. So you know where you do that thing, you press on somebody else's story that's right next to it and you move it over a little bit. Then you move it right back over nice and slightly. That's what I did. So I watch it and it's a questionnaire. He posted a questionnaire, like the little talk to me. I'm just keeping an eye, a close eye on his page. As the night going by, I give it a couple minutes, do a little random task and then I go watch his story. Give it a couple minutes, do a random task and then I go watch his story. And I tap his story. Why somebody say, laughing my ass off, I can't even believe you got the girl who was on live, the cheerleader girl and Kaya all fucking with you at one time. I'm refreshing it. I had to be reading it wrong. responds with two laughing emojis on a picture of him giggling in the mirror. It's one of the pictures in the mirror when he like, like trying to catch himself like giggling. I know you ain't do it the right the first time. So that means you took that picture up 10 times just to get the perfect giggle. Now it's time to get some giving. I didn't know what I was gonna do the next day, but I just knew I was gonna go to school and I was like, gonna act real regular. I was gonna fuck his whole shit up. Wake up the next morning, get to school. He texts me good morning, leave that shit on red. I see him. I'm like, hey. He like, why you ain't text me back? I'm like, oh, I didn't even see it. Mm -hmm. Went through all my eight periods. He texts me throughout the day. I'm giving him dry answers, but then when I see him in person, I'm real bubbly, real me. He like, what the fuck is going on? He like, you been acting off today. I'm like, don't worry about it. Days going on, I text some of my bus B friends, and I was like, hey y'all, what y'all doing? Y'all staying after school? They're like, yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna stay after with y'all. Like I said, he always stayed after because he played basketball. So it's time to get on the bus. I see him walking out the door. He see me walking out the doors of school. I didn't even tell him because usually anytime I would stay after, I would tell him so I can get on bus A with him. So he looking like, so he walking on bus A, like just kind of thinking I'm gonna follow after him. I walk my tail right up onto bus B. He look confused. I see him, I shake my head and I sit down. When I sit down, I hear C. Y'all remember C? Mr. Dark Skin, way from bus B. He like, you pick and choose when you want to come see me. I'm like, yeah, today your lucky day. Like it is my lucky day. I'm just eating it up. I'm sitting right in the seat right here. He's sitting in the seat right here. So I'm sitting in the seat in front of him. My homeboy, that's him, his homeboy also. He like, you might as well go sit with him. You, you doing more talking to him than you doing to me. What? I dare you to go sit with him. You don't F with Joy no more, do you? So I go sit next to him. He like, why you be popping in and out? Why you don't always be over here? And so now we just chopping up and chopping up. As I'm talking to him, he like, huh, huh? I'm like, you can't hear me? He like, yeah, it's just so loud on the bus. Come, come closer. We talking, we talking. He like, huh? I, I still can't hear you. Come here. Closer. I start peeping game. I start peeping what he doing. I'm like, nah, you can hear me. You can hear me just fine. And he take me by my like, uniform pants and move me closer. Now we just talking. Like, we talking this close. And he like, I'm about to kiss you. 
And if you don't move, you've been wanting me to kiss you. <laughs> As I'm talking to him in the middle of my conversation, he leaned in and kissed me. Did I move? Mm -mm. As I'm kissing him, the bus getting quieter and quieter. I look up from kissing him. The people that was the closest to us all looking at us like, one girl. She like, don't you talk to somebody? I'm like, don't you mind your business? I'm like, yo, why would I do that? In high school, anything could be painted as messy. If as long as people want drama for that week, and if it's, it's enough potential there, I'm just acting like nothing happened. We continue our conversation. I'm like, hell. Might as well kiss again. So we kiss again. I get home. All I feel is roaches crawling around in my stomach. I go to sleep that night. Wake up in the morning. Whole day going good. I'm going period by period. Surprisingly, I'm not really seeing nothing, hearing nothing. I get to my fourth period class. My friends Mariah and Lena like, mm, mm, mm. Um, what? We heard you was kissing C in the back of the bus. And if I was, like, don't you talk to Drew? I'm like, do Drew talk to me? I'm playing it real cool, real calm, real collect. Mind you, Drew is already a loose cannon. Like, I'm walking down the hall, getting ready to go to lunch. All I feel is somebody roll me up by my uniform shirt and move me to lockers i slam into lockers a little bit i open up my eyes from that commotion all i see is drew lip quivering so i'm like what what you got going on what you doing he's like i'm gonna ask you one question and i'm only gonna ask you one time i need you to be honest so i'm like what's wrong boo <laughs> you seem real tense like let it out was you kissing see on the back of the bus yesterday i look at him i smile i'm like no why would you think that? One of my 10th grade friends from the back of the bus that you was on the bus you was on told me you was kissing him. So I pulled the same shit that he pulled. And when I first found out about that girl, him on live, I was like, you would believe somebody else rather than me, somebody you've been knowing, somebody who been holding you down. I'm like, did anybody take any pictures of me? Like, you got anything to prove it? He like, I see you fucking playing. I really hate you. I really hate you. I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't hate you. I'll never speak to you again. You really crazy. If you knew this is what you was going to do, you should have been told me. I didn't know it was what I was going to do. So you did it? So you did it? Did what? <laughs> he like, you know what? I'm done. I laugh. I'm like, all right, shit, be fed up. And I walk away. Don't ever take me back after you did me dirty. Because there's no reason you should have been playing in my face like that. A sweet girl like me. After I kissed C and which one called pressed me in the hallway, me and him never talked again. It was just getting toxic. And we was both just being really toxic to each other. Honestly, I feel like I should have still never kissed C because that wasn't even my character. I was just mad. I was hurt and I was sad. Yeah. Me and Sweet was cool too after that. That is the second half of the story of when my friend tried to get me humpy on the bus. My boyfriend tried to, he cheated on me. And what I do, cheat back, did I? We wasn't together. I love you so, so much. I got story times coming. But like I said, my name is Kai Klon. For all you guys who don't know, if y'all who doing me dropping, what? Are you with me? I love you and I will see you in the next one and the next one after that. Bye, girl.